This is a fountain pen. If you weren't aware, a well-writing fountain pen requires little to no pressure to write. Unlike a ballpoint pen, which as the name implies has a tiny ball at the tip of the pen, which rolls to add ink to the page, this process requires a fair amount of downward pressure to keep the ball rolling. Fountain pens not only require little to no pressure to write, using excess force will actually damage the pen. So what happens if you use too much force while writing? Starting with a light amount of pressure, little more than the pen to the page, this is enough for the ink to flow through the nib and write to the page. Adding a bit more pressure to what I would consider a heavy hand, but not intentionally putting any downward force. You may notice the lines are a bit wider than the original light pressure, and you may notice that the nib will grab the page a bit more as you go in horizontal directions. Intentionally adding pressure, you can start to get railroading, which is where the line of the ink splits into two as the tines of the nib start to spread, or the ink can completely stop flowing depending on how much pressure you are adding. And if you add too much pressure, the tines can spread out and not return back to their original position, which will cause the ink to stop flowing and the pen will no longer write, which we have now done. The tines of the nib are now spread enough the ink will no longer flow. With a cheap pen such as this one, there's little risk to attempt to fix this, so let me show you how you could do that in this situation. With minimal damage such as this, I'll usually just use my fingernails to gently bend the nib back into position. You want to do this in multiple small adjustments rather than trying to do it all in one big adjustment as it is easy to overdo it. Now that the tines are back in place, the ink will flow again and the pen will write. 